Hi guys, it's me, Stephanie, and I am back with another video. Again, it's just me, um, Savannah's at work again, and I'm just speaking on a subject that I was that was brought to my attention yesterday. I made a video yesterday on the Micah or Mika staffer situation because they ended up giving their autistic adopted son up for adoption is what I thought, but it turns out he's actually in the foster care system, and I will go all on that later in the video. But it really hurt my heart and it really shattered me and made me have this uneasy feeling. I was really distraught for the rest of the day. I talked to my boyfriend about it a lot. It just, it really hurt me being someone who is adopted internationally from Haiti, someone who had issues come out in my teens and adult years that I didn't fully understand and didn't realize it was due to trauma and stuff of being adopted, but also just trauma in general and just part of being human not even just trauma but it's just a lot of my issues that i have are just because i am human as they are with so many other people so i just i wanted to speak and clarify on the situation that i knew very little about yesterday and just made a video just because i was angry i was sad and it was just my initial thoughts today i'm here to tell you more so about why giving a child up that you adopted after exploiting them and using them for money and views is terrible. I mean, giving a child up in any way after you promise to love them and help them gain an attachment to you and have them trust you is, it's not a great thing, but it does happen. However, in this certain situation, it could have been avoided, prevented, and it did not need to happen. And that is what I am so angry and so sad about. I find us adopted kids, we need to stick together and we need to speak up for each other when things like this happen. So I'm just gonna start off right off the bat. Mika Staffer and her husband, who are both in the wrong, by the way, I see a lot of people just like attacking Mika when it's both of them. Both of them made the decision. Both of them are in the wrong. So they adopted a son from China. Um, they made all these videos about him. They hyped up this adoption. They gained views from him. They did so much for this little boy. Their whole YouTube career is pretty much built around this little boy. They were so excited to adopt this little boy. And I know so many other YouTubers said this, so I'm just gonna keep it short and simple. They knew this boy had physical disabilities. They knew this boy had mental disabilities. They knew this boy had disabilities. They were in no way in the dark about him having disabilities and under fact they capitalized on the fact that he had disabilities and that was pretty much the whole platform and why they chose him um and you he is their son and they love him no matter what so three years later when a video comes out that you gave up on this boy <laughs> People are going to be angry. As a matter of fact, I haven't even heard of this family and my heart is shattered for this little boy, okay? I I watch other family YouTubers. Um, I know a lot of people don't like how they exploit their kids and I don't either. However, not every one of them do that. A lot of them do. And in this certain situation, they very much exploited this child, used this child for money, used this child for YouTube fame, used this child and then gave him away. And that is wrong it is wrong no matter what anybody tries to say no matter what anybody tries to fight about it yes it would be one situation if they did everything they could and this child was older and actually i don't know hurting their kids and doing things but this child is young i i don't think that this child was hurting the children i i don't know i'm not in the household so i can't say that but to me, after watching many other videos and watching some of her videos, it just seemed like this kid did not fit in with their family. They could not handle him. They did not take the proper precautions and the proper classes and stuff to deal with a kid who was severe autistic. Okay, and that is what it comes down to. They did not prepare themselves for this autistic child. Now, being an adopted kid, attachment issues are so prevalent 
Um, it doesn't matter your age. I mean, I'm 22 years old and I still deal with some attachment issues. I still have fear of losing people. I have fear of not fitting in. I have fear of getting too close to people. And that has that has created issues in my life that I don't think my adopted parents, that I don't think my siblings, my adopted siblings, that I wasn't even ready for. It was, it created situations that might have not ever occurred if I was a bi with my biological family. However, I was adopted because my mom could not take care of me and she was poor. She wanted a better life for me. So she trusted the agency to put me with a good family who is gonna take care of me through thick and thin. And that's what it comes down to. You are going to take care of these children. You are going to love them through thick and thin. Um, just like your biological kids. Here's the thing. She was posting videos about how she is gonna love this kid no matter what, through thick and thin. This is what God is doing for them. This is this is their calling. This is it. She said that this boy was not disposable. This boy was not able to be returned. This boy is their son, okay? So if you look back on those videos and they're saying that, why is this kid in the foster care system now? Why? This boy was not returnable. So why did they return him? I just, it's, it's false promises. It's lies. It's, it's just, it's disgusting. Okay. These people have so much money and they have so much money because they adopted this little boy. They adopted this little boy who had a disability and everybody loved it. Everybody wanted to follow their story. Everybody wanted to support them. However, they were not preparing for this little boy. They were preparing for having lots of money. They were preparing for having YouTube fame. They were preparing to be influencers. They were not preparing for this boy who was gonna need them for the rest of their life. And they have now created just such a, such a bad view of adoption. And I think this is the issue with adoption. I, I don't want to say this myself. However, it is families. Some families go and adopt kids for looks. They go and adopt the children for looks. They aren't doing it for the right reasons. It's for looks. It's to make themselves feel better. It's to make themselves look good. These kids are not treated with the same love and respect that the biological children are treated with. And that already damages these children. Trust me, I understand it. Okay, so when you are adopted, regardless of how hard a parent tries, the kid is always going to feel like there's a little bit of not belonging because this is not their this is not their biological family and there's always going to be a connection between a bio kid and a bio parent that us adopted kids are never going to have and it's going to make us feel like we don't belong so you want to take that feeling away from us you want to do whatever you can to make us feel like we belong you want to do whatever you can to grow an attachment towards your adopted child and make them seem like they are like every other kid and every adopted parent who has adopted a kid understands this and they know this and they know it's going to be hard adopting a kid is never going to be easy and let me tell you this having your own child is never going to be easy there are no promises in life okay so just because you have your own bio child does not mean they're not going to have autism does not mean they're not going to have down syndrome does not mean that they're not going to have some kind of disability that means that they are going to you are going to have to take care of them for longer than you planned so to give a child back because they have a disability that you took no time in learning you took no you made no effort in learning the situation no what you did was you put effort into getting famous off of this child exploiting this child for views and then when it came down to it and the child was too hard for you you gave him away that is wrong <laughs> that is wrong they have made so much money off of this little boy so much money and what gets put on the internet is never taken down so this boy he may have severe autism but that does not mean he doesn't have feelings that does not mean he doesn't understand anything he is a human he still feels things he still has trauma and this was trauma getting taken from one country getting used to a family and then getting pulled out yanked out of that family trauma Unfortunately, you guys were trying to be part of the solution for this little boy and you guys ended up being part of the problem.
okay? This boy may potentially now have trauma towards the fact that he was in your household, he gained a connection to you guys, and you guys just threw him away like he was a dog. You you gave him away, sorry, you didn't throw him away, you gave him away like he was a pet. You gave him away like he was an option. And I want you to know that children are not options, and not children in general. Us adopted kids are not options. We need love. We deserve love. Every child deserves a family who's gonna do whatever they can to take care of them, and you guys did not do that. And because of that, you guys are in the wrong. Do you, and, and, it breaks my heart. It really does break my heart that you guys are going around trying to get sympathy from people where sympathy is not deserved, like I said in my other video. You guys don't deserve the sympathy. The little boy deserves the sympathy. You guys made this choice. You guys made the choice to not be prepared. You guys made the choice to adopt this boy despite all of the doctors and all of the physicians who were saying, don't do it. This You have to or maybe not even don't do it, but you have to be very cautious. This is gonna be a lot of work. This is more than just parenting a child who has no disabilities or very little disabilities um, or not as severe disabilities. This is going to be a lot of work. And you said, I don't care. You're lying to me. You are making this sound worse than it is. I don't care. I'm gonna do it because you had this weird warped idea that you thought it was gonna be all sunshine and rainbows when Having kids is never sunshine and rainbows coming from someone who never has had a kid before but has had m little siblings and has babysat little siblings. It is never going to be sunshine and rainbows and you guys were naive. You guys chose to ignore the signs and you guys now are part of the problem instead of being part of this boy's solution and for that you two should feel bad and for that you two do not deserve sympathy. Now, before I leave, I just wanna quickly say the foster care system is a very, very, very messed up system. I, so to take this boy who thought he was gonna have a loving family for the rest of his life and to put him into the system that is now going to change his life forever, okay? The system is not somewhere you wanna go. And for people like you who had the money and had every opportunity to prepare for this little boy and you still didn't do it, you still didn't do it, you guys are, you guys should be very disappointed in yourselves. I'm sorry, but you guys should be disappointed in yourselves. You should have never put this boy in the system because you should have never adopted this boy in the first place. This boy would have... I like to think eventually found a proper match for him, but you guys took that opportunity away from him sooner because you wanted to test it out because us adopted kids are apparently able to be tested for. You were shopping around for children because you can shop for children and then it didn't go to plan. And that is what's wrong. My heart breaks that this boy is in the system. I hope and I pray that he gets out soon and that the family he's with right now, the foster family is going to keep him forever because he doesn't need more trauma. He doesn't need to feel more neglected. He doesn't deserve it. He, I've seen pictures of him and he looks like the sweetest, cutest little boy. And all he deserves is a loving family. And my heart breaks that the staffers could not do that and they cannot see, or they will not portray online how, how wrong this was, okay? I want all adoptive parents to know that you, who have kept their children through thick and thin, that you guys are amazing, you guys are rock stars, you guys are awesome, and you guys are appreciated. And I thank you for everything you do for each and one of your children, whether they are adopted or bio. It doesn't matter. Your kid is your kid and you deserve, and they deserve to be loved. That being said, any child who feels like they're too much for their parents, any adopted children feel like they're too much for their parents, any foster children who feel like they're too much, who any child in general who feels like they are neglected or feels like they're too hard for their parents or feel like they are not loved and they are not supported and nobody cares about them. I want you to know how special you are, how loved you are, how important you are in this world and that you deserve to be loved and that I care and I am here and I understand what it feels like and no child is too hard for a parent. A parent is supposed to be there to love you and that is their job and if they are not willing to do that, they shouldn't have had you in the first place and it breaks my heart that so many kids are just thrown to the side.
because people are not prepared to be parents. Um, my heart goes out to the staff for kids who seemed like they created a connection with this little boy. I do not want the, to make it sound like they are terrible people. I'm sure they love their biological kids and I'm sure they treat them amazing. However, when you adopt a kid, you are here to love them just like your bio kids. I highly doubt they will ever give away one of their bio children if in the future something comes up such as a disability or a mental illness because for those of you who probably know this already but mental illness comes up a lot in your older ages in your teens and you never know what your kid's going to come up with you never know what you're going to come up with so they don't even know yet what the future holds for them and their children and i hope that whatever it has whatever it holds they they hold those kids and they love them and they don't ever do this again. I pray and hope that they never do this to another child. They don't deserve to hurt another child. And I pray and hope that this little boy is able to find peace and is able to find love and is able to feel loved and is able to get the support that he deserves because he deserves the right family. And this, the staffers were just not it. And I, I'm really sorry for that boy that he was put in such a sad, difficult, unfair situation. No kid deserves to go through what he just went through. No kid deserves to go through what many kids go through. Well, guys, that's all I have to say. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye.